What's up? Got a Kaiser. It is the Clairvoyant. Paul Munko design. 154 CM blade, stonewash, aluminum. It's a button lock. Let's, uh, man, let's get it out of here. My little Savivi banter. I like that banter, man. Come on. Banter. It's a good one. Great action. Come on. Tiny little dude. All right. I've got stickers. 10 year Kaiser anniversary. So, yeah, this is a White Mountain Knives exclusive. I think it's an exclusive. Clairvoyant aluminum frag pattern. Clairvoyant. There it is. And, oh, I like this. Let's get it out of there. Wow. Munko Knives. Clairvoyant. 154CM. Whew. Let's get rid of all this stuff. It's worth mentioning. Comes with, uh, extra hardware. Kaiser, almost all Kaisers tend to do that. I think occasionally I've gotten one that didn't have it, but was it an open box or who knows? You know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure this was a White Mountain Knives exclusive. And uh, it's been sitting around here a while. Let's run this action a little bit. Oh, man, is that good. Wow. No flipper tab, so it's thumb studs only. Hmm. Okay. This jimping? Woo, come on. Yeah, it's that good. Look at this uh, pivot, too. I mean, the button and the pivot kind of match the aluminum. I wonder if they are aluminum. We're going to find out. I'm going to check. Nah, it's metal. It's got metal liners now that I'm looking at it. Look at that. Yeah, it's got metal liners. Makes me think that that hardware is not necessarily. Hmm, we'll check it when we get it out. Man, look at this action. Golly, that's good. Had to check, is it tight? Yeah, it is. I don't know, all button locks nowadays, right? I mean, I don't know how far I got to go to say, yeah, that's pretty solid, but it's pretty solid. And this frag, this aluminum, it's got, it's got a bead blasted rough texture. And I don't mean the frag pattern. I mean the, the blasted feel of this. It's almost chalky. Very grippy. I mean, this stuff, this thing is right up my alley. I mean, wow, is this thing good? Let's get it apart. I'm not afraid of no button lock. Who's afraid of you, ghost? Or what's that? I don't know. There's something saying, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. Man. Yeah, this thing's super nice. I had no idea. Clairvoyant. And I, I think there's several models of this thing. I mean, like like high-end S90V or something. I don't know if it's... But I think there's some high-end models of this. Yeah, we always do these button locks this way. We don't go the other way. Looks like I might have to get that back pocket screw out. I'm going to... Or clip. I might have to get that back screw out. It's a T6. It's holding us down. Just the back one, though. Pretty sure. Mm, maybe it was the front one. Surely not. Don't call me Shirley. I mean, it's kind of releasing now, so we'll find out. But see, see why I do it this way? Don't go the other way because now nothing can go flying. I'm in control as I take that off. Uh, actually, both screws. Both pocket screws were holding that scale down 
onto that liner. But the, this scale didn't need to come off now that I'm looking at it. It didn't have to. It's just pinned so tight in there, it doesn't want to come apart. That's what's happening. Yeah, everything's pinned. There's a pin, there's a pin, and there's a pin. And they're all tight. There, these back ones let go. Just mess with them enough. Probably. Yeah, we're down to the lock. The lock bar. Probably get that button out of there. Mm. There we got it. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just tolerances from the front to the back pins. They're just really tight. Everything's fitting just perfectly. And and so when it fits perfect, it's got to come apart perfect and go together perfect. I'll have to, I'll mess with it to put it back together too. Very, very, very nice, man. Everything in here, I'm looking at it, it's just wonderful. Let's get it cleaned up. I think I'm due for a new towel here. We'll use it on this one, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a clean towel. It's been a minute. Yeah, this one's kind of a surprise. I did not know that it was gonna be that absolutely incredible in my hand but it is i watch i'm a gush on it man when i put it back together and we're really running it through its paces i'm gonna be gushing on it i already know because man it just wow it's one of those that i mean it'd be easy to look at it and go yeah that's not for me but here's what i can tell you is i i can't imagine a knife guy not put this in his hand and go yeah, I don't like the way it looks, but golly, in the hand, it's stunning. Uh, you may not still like it just because, you know, aesthetically, it's like, yeah, it's perfect, but I still don't like it because it's just not my style or it doesn't look the way I like it. I mean, I know, I know some of y'all hate aluminum scales. Now, these do have steel liners, so maybe that could be relieved uh, or that that thinking could be relieved because the steel liners stiffen it up. Because the argument I've heard is, well, I don't like aluminum because they flex or they, they warp. That's what I heard. Um, but this one's got steel liners. So, I, hey, I mean, at the end of the day, you know what you like. I'm saying this. It, it would be easy to look at this knife and upon first impression say, yeah, that's not for me. Because I kind of felt the same way. Looking at it, I'm like, eh, I don't know if that's for me, man. It's a little off the beaten path of kind of where I'm coming from. Now, the frag pattern helps a lot. Kind of bring this back into my wheelhouse. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot. The frag pattern, you know, versus it being... I think the other versions are like brass and then micarta or carbon fiber I don't know um and so when I'm looking at the overall aesthetics of it and then I'm looking at all that it's easy for me to go yeah I don't think that's really for me but <laughs> I can tell you already man just a little bit that I ran this and and honestly I kind of rushed through that part only because it's so nice I just want to be done with this and get this thing in my hand. That's the truth. It's just like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess around with all that too much, because this thing is sweet. Let's get it checked in, cleaned up, and so I can play with it. I mean, yeah. And then they polished where the bearings ride. That's polished in there, like intentionally. They polished that somehow. Pretty nice.
The other thing about separating this liner, it's always kind of a good idea, is because then it allows this whole thing to kind of come together without managing the spring. So see, I'm, I'm completely together now and I didn't have to mess with the spring. So now I can mess with just the spring and just this top scale. I'm not having to line up everything, just those two pieces. It's so much easier. I mean, these collars, kind of the polished little ring. And then the aluminum look on the center. I mean, this, this thing. T8s all the way around. I meant to do this. Yeah, they're steel. All that steel. Pocket clips, spring steel. Bruce spring steel. I almost put some Bruce spring steel music on one of my shorts the other day. But I didn't do it. I don't have anything against Bruce Springsteel. But I, and I think there's two sides of this. I've, I've mentioned this before a long time ago. There's kind of two sides to that coin. And I think it's this. You're either a Bruce Springsteel fan or Bob Seger fan. It's kind of one of those. It's sort of like the Stones or Led Zeppelin. I mean, is that all nonsense, what I just said? <laughs> like, if you like one, you can't like the other. Like, what am I, stupid? Because I like them all. But I do like some Bruce Springsteen. But, I mean, if I was going to go see a crooner, you know, a rock and roll singer like that, I'd rather go see Bob Seger. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band versus Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. You know what I'm saying. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Are we tight? I have to ask because this thing is just so good. Oh. I mean, makes me want to use the P word. What did I say about the lotus flower? I mean, you spend your whole life searching for the perfect lotus flower and then you get old and you realize that they were all perfect. Everyone in their own right. But, I mean, wow. Let's talk about this action. I mean, it's A plus for what it is. I mean, it'd be easy for some to say, well, it needs a flipper tab. Doesn't have a flipper tab. I mean, fair enough. If you got if you need your knife to have a flipper tab, this one does not have it. And so, you know, for you that could be a strike against this knife. But I'm telling you, for me, looking at the knife for what it is, I mean, golly, this thing. Spidey flick. The detent that that button is providing is perfect. I mean, it's perfect. Just snappy coming out of there. And guaranteed it's just going to suck it in right here. Yeah, boop. And then it should, it should suck it to the lock position as well. Yeah, just kind of snicks it right in there. I mean, it is so good. Golly. Yeah, A+. Plus. Let's talk about ergonomics. So, again, you want to talk about flying colors, you know, checking boxes. This thing, I mean, index finger and then these next three all just land right where they need to land. And the grip on this thing, the jimping is, I mean, 
It's not combat jumping, but it is sharp and super effective. I mean, downward pressure, you can't get past this stuff. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm so locked in. So there's not very confident, confident, and very confident. This knife goes straight to the very confident. It is, this is a very confident knife. And I wouldn't have known that looking at it. I would have never looked at that and said, well, that's a very confident knife. No, this is, I mean, golly, this tip, oddly enough, it looks like it's below the center of the pivot, but it is the center of the pivot. And so the the point of this, which is, I mean, it's it's a needle. The point of that is is dead center of this knife going forward. It it's got this swooping blade that makes you feel like it wouldn't be pokey, but in the end that point is centered on the pivot. And so very po very pokey. I mean this thing and in the reverse grip it's got a platform for the thumb that the thumb even crooks over and locks into even tighter. Wow, this thing I mean, I had no idea. This thing is wonderful. Big time. <laughs> yeah, so the ergonomics, I mean, I feel the pocket clip, but it's not hot. I feel it down there. And it, and you know why it's going to, because look how deep, deep that clip carries. Speaking of that, let's look at that. Let's look at this clip. I got to do something with this black background though, man. Because it's like, it picks up every little piece of lint, debris, and my OCD goes crazy on it. I just see it all. So frag pattern, we're over the thick stuff, and oh, come on, this thing. Yeah, that is a that is a drier clip, man. I mean, take a tussle, bang around on the ground, scuffle. I mean, you know, maybe even you know. Banging for your life, I don't know, but at some point, if you can get a hand free and you got to reach for this piece of metal, it's going to be right where you expect it to be, holding on, waiting for you to get a grip on it. Ah, oh, man, golly, the clip is the clip's wonderful, no issues with it whatsoever. Let's check it for safety. Yeah, there's no blade contact back there. Look at this backspacer, I'm pretty sure that's the same aluminum that the rest of it's made out of but no contact here it's got a lanyard hole that's built in so you could put a lanyard off the back of this thing um and then there's no contact with that tip so the tip's good the clip is good and then very confident that i could put this in my pocket and not catch the blade in any way i mean i wonder if it's sharp i mean it's really the only thing left for me to just talk about some level of the p word I mean, it's got some boogers on it. So, I mean, I'm glad it's it's making me participate because up to this point, this thing is stunningly good. And I mean it. I Hey, I got no stock in Kaiser. None. They don't even know I exist. Like, you guys got to know that, man. I got less than 2,000 subscribers. And you take a knife company like Kaiser and, and you got, you know, the big guys out there got hundreds of thousands of subscribers you know these guys don't know i even breathe so don't think that for a second i'm pimping on this knife because it's that good it's just stunning it's an oddball shaped piece that at first glance i kind of go yeah that's not me but i picked it up because i you know i'm kind of a kaiser fan guy i like my kaisers and i've been collecting some of the older models lately and uh, so this one kind of popped on my radar, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get one. This White Mountain Knives exclusive, you know, this aluminum frag, it caught my eye. And I was like, yeah. And I think they ran quite the special on it. I think I got this at an amazing price. All right. Let's see if we, see what I did with this blade. I'm pretty sure that that's all it needed to get cleaned up. And if it's not, I'm going to profile this blade because this knife's not going anywhere. I, I mean, it's just not. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If this was your knife, would you be good with that? I mean, I'm pushing it through this, this 
magazine paper. Yeah, come on, I think. It just needed a strop. It's been sharpened properly. It just, you know, didn't get finished. Needed a little, a little strop work. All right, let me wrap up on this thing. Golly. Can, so, I, I know you can't tell, but here's my assess assessment. This clairvoyant knife, <laughs> man, I like it. I really like it. And I'm going to tell you right now, um, I recommend some knives. You know I do. There's some knives that I just go, hey, I really like this one. And, you know, you should check it out for yourself. But... I don't know what the other models are like. I have to be careful because this frag, I think, has something to do with it. The grippiness of this, the business perspective of this knife. It's lightweight, that aluminum, even with the steel liners. I mean, they're skeletonized. There's big relief cuts in both scales. I, and I, I just think the way that it's cut up, all this cut up and profiling on all this, the skinniness and... I you know and then this this arc blade I I don't hate these these arc blades like this I don't know what that's called but I don't hate them but I I just think overall the whole thing kind of made me go yeah I don't know man I don't I don't really think it's me but it's a good deal I'm going to get one and I have to tell you that I really 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 like this knife it's legit I'm surprised that I mean, I should calm down. I was about to say, I'm surprised it doesn't get raved on more, but maybe it is. Maybe it's just totally getting raged on and, and I'm not aware because I, man, I don't, you know, I don't pay attention. 154, good steel. I really like it. Clairvoyant, man. I mean, let me check price and availability for you. See if I can't point you to one. All right, so White Mountain Knives to me would be the source for this. This is where, this is where I would recommend you go to find one. So this one here, it lists for like two hundred and thirty bucks, and uh, at the time of this video, they're on sale for sixty some dollars for this version. So even if you took out the retail of two something this this knife and this aluminum with this frag pattern the 154 for 70 bucks i i mean i'm just telling you it's it's a must buy at 70 dollars my opinion this thing this thing is legit it's real can you choke up i mean i guess if you had to you could try to dig out a sliver up here more control same steel, same knife with a brass bolster, and then I believe uh, it's a micarta bottom. Um, it's a hundred dollars, but same steel. That's why this one for you know seventy bucks is stunning. I mean, same steel, but this aluminum frag, come on, for thirty forty dollars less than the brass and the micarta well then there's a titanium bolstered and i believe titanium liners with carbon fiber version and s35 vn so upgraded steel and it is 150 dollars after a discount code and so here's what I'm going to say about that. At the time of this video, all three of those are available. And based on what I'm finding with this knife, I don't think you could go wrong with any one of them. Although I'm really partial to this frag. This thing, I mean, this, this, this thing is super legit with this frag. Like I, a hundred percent, this is a potential primary self-defense piece in my opinion. Um, But any one of those, I think, would be pretty awesome, only because the ergonomics isn't going to change. The ergonomics should be the same, except for the grip. Yeah, man. So, anyways, Kaiser Clairvoyant, uh, check it out. White Mountain Knives is where I'd head, but, you know, who knows? Maybe somebody else got one for sale. Appreciate you watching.